Right, morning everyone. I hope you're all doing well under the circumstances. Um, it's Declan from the YMCA, as hopefully all of you uh, will know or remember me. Um, basically, what I want to do today is just give you some ideas about keeping moving. I know some of you um, can't go out for a little while or for health reasons you need to stay indoors. So today is just a 10 minute basic exercise to strengthen your legs, to work the core muscles, um, and just to kind of get the body moving. Before any workout, just always be conscious if you have any knee, hip, shoulder injuries. If you need anything modified, I will give some modifications, so please listen out for them. Before we do anything, just it's always important just to warm the body up. So just to start with, standing nice and tall, keeping the spine lengthened, starting to draw the abdominals in and up. Start with just a gentle march on the spot. So you can use the music if you want. Just put it down, you know, leave the music out. Keep the shoulders broad. And just give me some shoulder rolls here, just to get rid of any tension. Start to focus on your breathing as well. Start moving your fingers and your wrists, the smaller joints in the body, just to loosen up any stiffness, any tightness. Walk your legs out just a few inches and then walk them in. And walk them out again and walk them in. Now from here, we're just going to move the ankle. So come to a stop. You can use a chair for balance if you need to, or you can just stand freestanding. Lift your leg up and just give me some ankle circles, clockwise, anti-clockwise. Just loosening up the ankle joint a couple of times and then change to the other leg. Lift up, keep the abdominals tight, breathe, and do some movements clockwise, anti-clockwise, and release. Back to the march on the spot. Walk the legs out just a little bit wider than hip width. Soft knees, bring the arms up and just do some rotation just to loosen up spine. So allow the head to move as you turn, keep the shoulders soft, going for three, going for two, and going for one. Back to the march on the spot now, just to loosen everything up, shake out your hands, move your wrists, have a little bit of fun with it. What I'm going to do today, we're going to do sit to stand. What you need for this is just a solid chair, simple, basic solid chair. Make sure that you have got some space around you as well, whether you're in your lounge, in your garden, um, just for safety, always check the environment around you. So basically what we're gonna do here is a squat, but we're gonna incorporate the chair in, just for those of you who might need that for a bit of extra balance. You can have handles on the side if you need, uh, but preferably let's try and go without. So I'm gonna demonstrate from the side, starting off, the challenge here is to go down as slow as you can. So keep your foot apart, draw your abdominals in, inhale, exhale, just slowly start to sit back down into the chair. Keep your eye line fixed forward, breathe in, slowly push up, leaning forward through the heels, straight spine at the top. Slowly and gently start to sit back down, keep the chest lifted, eye line laser focused forward, and slowly push back up. So the aim here is not to kind of plonk down fast. It's to use your core muscles to slowly push yourself up, hold, and then slowly push the hips back and sit back down. Arms can come down to the side now, shoulder roll out. You can do a couple of spine twists here if it feels good, just to keep the spine moving keeping the spine healthy, shake the hands out, keep the feet hip width apart, look forward. Now, an extra challenge here, those of you who want to, you can give me a calf raise. So have a look. You're gonna look forward, try not to look down. If you look down, it'll affect the balance. So always focus forward, inhale, exhale, lift up, heels lift off the floor, gently sit back down again. Remember the aim here is to do this slow and controlled, leaning forward, lift up, Calf raise, work the calf muscles, push the hips back, release. Two more, slowly and gently lift up, calf raise, sit back down, take your time, sitting towards the edge of the chair rather than right back into the chair. Hold on your tiptoes now, balance, breathe. Three, two, and one, release. Shake your legs out, well done. All right, give your legs a little bit of a shake out. Stand nice and tall with a chair. So again, option two now, 
do this without the chair. So we're going to turn the chair around. Sorry, I'm new to this, so just be patient with me. Feet hip width apart. So this is a um, almost like a progression now from using the chair. Once you've done it a couple of times, every now and again, just give me a gentle squat. So you push the hips back. Remember, squeeze your glutes at the top. So your glutes are the buttocks, big muscle group. Sit back down, slowly lift up. Keep the shoulders soft. No tension in the jaw, the forehead, or the shoulders. I'm demonstrating from the side now. Have a look. Hips sink back. Slowly push it up. Option two, add in that calf raise. So again, heels lift, soften down, sink back. Heels lift and release. Two more. Keep the spine lengthened. Keep the eye line fixed forward and release. Well done. Shake up the legs. If it helps, do a little hamstring curl just to loosen up the knee joints a little bit. Shake out your hands. It helps do some knee raises, shake everything out, shoulder roll out. So that's a simple exercise. Sit to stand or your narrow squats. Maybe look at doing these once a day, twice a day. Aim for repetitions of anything from eight to 10 repetitions. Have a break in between, um, but strengthening the legs and the core. So coming up over the next couple of days, I'm gonna add in some Zumba, um, some stretching, some strength work, and we're going to keep moving through this ordeal. So everyone stay positive, uh, and we'll get through it, and we'll be back in the club before you know it. So have a great day, and I'll see you soon. Take care, everyone, and thank you. Cheery bye.